Hello everyone, Burton's back, playing once again. Oh, hang on, got a message, set your eyes to the west. The men of Kraykol have uh, raised an army. That's quite interesting. Um, before we get into this, part three. Uh, so uh, thanks for watching the series, thank you for all of your likes. It looks like they're defending against Volantis. Okay. What's going on here? Let's see if uh, Lord Sumner can give us a bit more information. That's kind of come out of nowhere. Lord Sumner, you should have sent words. We could have been there a lot faster. You foolish man. He's got quite a lot of men. Oh, here he is. Um, well. He can't tell us anything we don't already know. Over in Volantis, or all Volantis, should I say. Um, not too much is going on. So we can see we've got this guy, Triac Malico, of all Volantis. Looks like it's slave trading. Wretched imprisonment, Queen Cersei. Nash is leader of a plot to kill Tyrion the Imp. Okay, we'll let you uh, carry on with that little plot, my sweet. We'll see how you get on with that, shall we? Right, let's have a look at some things now. Um, obviously, we can see that uh, at King's Landing. Oh, let's get rid of that. Yeah, at King's Landing, um, there's Cersei, she's pregnant still, unfortunately for us. Joffrey, our little whelp, is still ill and has got no talents whatsoever because he's not even one years old yet. A couple of other plots, Varys, take care of those plots for me, would you? Let's have a look at our people in Bywater. Obviously, we're still keeping an eye on that lord there. Uh, Tywin Lannister is too busy collecting taxes. Oh, hang on. Joffrey has died as a sickly infant. What is going on? Oh, we don't have to worry about him anymore. Your Grace, has it come to my attention that in direct convention of his vows to protect your person, one of your sworn brothers has been having a sordid affair. Oh my God, it's Jamie and Cersei. Those blondes gold-digging bastards. Well, there's only one way to deal with Jamie and his sister. I command you to take the Kingslayer's head. See, that's what happens when you fuck your sister. As for the whore and the creature inside her, well, their fate will be sealed with a headman's axe. And there we go. At the age of 20, Jamie Lannister has been executed. That's what happens when you try and uh, have an affair with my wife. Let's not forget, he's not the only guilty one. She's been an unfaithful partner. Oh, she must be executed as well. There we go. Cersei and the unborn child is executed. So are the Lancers going to be happy with me? That's the question, and frankly, 
I don't care. And we'll pop over and we'll uh, just keep our eye on Tywin there. He's just lost a son, a daughter, and two grandchildren as well. It doesn't look like he can be too angry with us because obviously it was their own damn fault. So Tyrion the Imp, who says he was plotting against, is now the heir to Castle Rock and the Westerns. Gonna keep an eye out on uh, who would be potentially a good wife for us. Now, Daenerys obviously hates us still. A couple of others. They're all children though. So for now I don't think we're gonna be doing too much. I mean I got one that's high tower. But obviously she likes gold more than the Lannisters. No I'm good mate. We go back down to Sunspear. Um Ariam Martel. Obviously she's still demanding vengeance, I've not actually uh, dealt with the Martells as of yet. Nothing happened in the Eyrie, still doesn't have any children, apart from the dead one. Winterfell, uh, Ned, you still don't have any kids. Maybe I should have uh, gave uh, Catelyn a, a taste of a wild boar, or the wild stag should we say. So over in Bravos, we've still got uh, Prince Doran. We're gonna uh, stop him from getting the claim in Bravos. Instead, what we're gonna do is we're gonna send him over to Overlantis, and we're gonna start getting the claim on these. Now you can see they've already got an army raised. And we know exactly what the army's for. I think they're gonna come straight over to, you know, Craig Hall and uh, try and take some uh, Westermen over as slaves. Nice to see Varys is still on board, keeping an eye on all these plots. There's Barsons and Selmy. Let's have a look at what White Brothers we have left. I always call the Kingsguard White Brothers, why not? They always dress in white, white capes. There's good old Sir Merrin. I have to keep our eye on Sir Merrin. Oh, that man deserves a reward. Right, so plans are afoot. We're trying to get a claim over and over Lantis to stop what's going on here. We're going to send uh, Tywin over to uh, one of our enemies, should we say. And that's uh, in Bywater. In fact, we won't do that just yet. Let's deal with one of our main enemies first. This guy. Uh, so, Dawson's Keep. Oh, inspecting the child. Can I take him care of? No, no, it won't be taking care of Varys. He'll be having his child. Uh, back over to Dawson's Keep. This guy is trying to get Viserys or start a faction to get him back on the throne. So, we're going to keep an eye on him as well as get a few more people to join this plot. Varys has been very persuasive with some of his uh, techniques for getting these people to join. A couple of bribes here and there, but the ends justify the means. Um, let's see, what's this guy wanting? A hundred gold? No, I don't think so. Do you like robbery? Okay, so he's joined. 
I don't have to pay him 100 gold, did we? Cyril Farrell. Is he the first sword of Bravos? I will have him. This plot is really starting to roll now. Got a lot of people behind it, and I, I know it won't be long until that beggar prince is brought to justice. Right, that should be enough for now. Sir Willem has bribed a hunter, taking Prince Viserys on a trip into the wilds. He can quietly dispatch the child and make it look like an accident. Willem Derry. That man has no honour. He's the one who originally took them across the narrow sea. Oh well. Let's approve the plan. So in a moment, Viserys Targaryen may very well be dead. Oh, time to choose something for Maya. Um, there's no point grooming her for command or numbers. Let's educate her at, uh, at court. There we go. Another plot, very should take care of that. Oh, there we go. Word has come in. This area's Targaryen is dead. See what happens when you oppose my rule. Ah. There we go. What about that bitch of a sister of his? Yeah, maybe we should start taking care of her as well. So the hunter did what he was paid for, made sure the series never returned from the hunting trip. She is a similar age to Maya. Okay, we'll let the child live for now. I don't want to become the laughing stock of the Seven Kingdoms, being scared of an infant. So we could declare an all out war. For the emancipation of all of Atlantis. There's something I'm gonna have to have a good think about and maybe have a war council. In the meantime, their army has landed in Craig Hall. Reports coming in, it's up to 16,000 men. Uh, Craig Hall army is much smaller. Maybe Barristan, maybe. Give us a moment. Should we declare war? No, we're not. We'll leave that for now. However, what we will do is assigned to Sir Salmi to take up some action here, possibly uh, possibly scare them off a little bit. Uh, the army is currently in Farewell. Craig Hall is still under siege. I don't think they're going to last too long. It all kind of came out of the blue. We didn't have much of a uh, 
much notice. Uh, so obviously you see we can't actually go to war with them outright just yet. Which is why we are currently pressing the claim if that Martel uh, actually hurries up. As soon as we can get that claim we can uh, try and put a stop to this. Let's just clean these up a bit before we take any action. Sell me. You'll be leading this army here. I'll try and get you over as quick as possible to stop this from progressing. There you are. Get over there and support them now. Lord of Falwell can't give me uh, any more information. Oh, we've got someone to replace a Lannister. Let's have a look. Willem Withers. Oh, the Tyrell speak well of him, perhaps. I won't be having a fray. And um, by water, no, we'll go with uh, we'll go with Sir Withers. He's the first son as well. Step forward. Oh, one sec. There we go. So he's now accepted. Lord Sumner of Craycall has accepted. Ah, uh, accepted a peace offer. Well, we were too late with that. More than likely, either Lord Sumner has bought them off. Or. He's been defeated and they've taken some of his people. Um, we'll offer him vassalization, get him under our wing, so this won't happen again. But right now, things aren't too rosy in the Westerlands. And it's strange how the Lord Paramount of the Westerlands did not go to his aid. So, with that being said, Thanks for watching, tune in next time.